Hey, what's up, Team KBA? One Tech Traveler here. Today is another video in the Last Shelter Universe where I talk about how you can optimize your base buildings to increase the amount of electricity that you are producing and saving in your surplus. Reasons why you want to do it is to help upgrade certain buildings that require electricity to reducing the amount of oil you are using to top up and maintain production inside your base. And then three, just yeah, give you much more electricity to use in the commercial hub. So you'll find this video alongside the article that I wrote on my website. Check it out at onetechtraveler.com. And like always, make sure you join the Team KBA community to see more awesome videos like this one in the Last Shelter Universe by subscribing to my channel. I mainly do travel and tech, but you'll find a growing playlist of Last Shelter videos. So definitely stay tuned for more. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the buildings around the center. So first up, we have the houses and you can see they are all connected via roads. Uh, if you disconnect them from the roads, uh, it actually reduces the population cap. And if you reconnect them, it's gonna take some time for that number to slowly refill. That mainly affects cash production with the banks, but if you also fill up the ration truck, then that is going to maximize the, the population count. So mostly if you need to run some upgrades or you just want to maximize your cash production, you want that definitely connected. Uh, the next one up, we have my uh, Raider class trap house. So you can see I have that disconnected that uses electricity as well as any other class buildings like the farm exclusive one. Um, having that connected is going to use some electricity, maybe around 5k. Um, so you can have that disconnected. This one here, the command center, it doesn't use any electricity. So I've kept that because it has a lot of good features when it comes to promoting and enhancing. And we have my storage upgrades for oil. Now oil and all the other storages need to be connected to keep the maximum capacity. If you disconnect one uh, from the road, then that is going to reduce it. Let me show you currently 146.5. If I disconnect that, it goes down to 46. So that's a big jump. But uh, if you accidentally remove one and you have resources above the limit, uh, you don't lose that, like you don't forfeit it. As soon as you have it reconnected, um, you will have the original uh, resource amounts that you had previously. So you really want to keep the storages connected to the roads. Yeah, I keep these all connected too. So we were at 242. Now, if I take that out, you can see it doesn't make a difference. So I just keep it connected whenever I want to either increase the production so I can save more or just use enough power plants uh, to keep my production net and using as minimal oil as possible. So I keep that connected. Same thing with the resource production. Naturally, those all have to be connected. You can't really place it anywhere else. Um, so you can move them between different plots of that resource. Like if I move this iron, I had a space here. I can do that, but you can't do it anywhere else. So even if you try, these resource plots are always going to be connected. If you do, however, disconnect it, then actually your production drops. So it was at 55. Now it's back to 108. So you need to keep those connected to the roads at all times. And like I mentioned before, we have the banks that is for uh, money production. And like with the resources, if you disconnect one of them, it affects the cash outflow. So you need to keep that too. I mentioned I was a farmer class before. So while you still have the buildings, you lose access to their features, but they can still pull electricity. So again, we are at 242. If I reconnect this, even though I'm not the farmer class anymore it will still pour the same amount as the trap house so if you have any other class buildings that you have connected make sure you disconnect them so we've talked about the uh, resource production plots and the storages next one up is the hospital so you actually don't need those connected at all and you still keep the same maximum hospital capacity we have like nine here and if you wanted to access then you really just need the one connected. That's going to take you to the screen where you can go and heal your wounded troops. But if they are clean and you don't need access, then you can remove all of them from the roads. I'm going to put it back here because I always like one and it just 0.2. So 
having one connected is still perfectly fine. Another one is the barracks. So we have four of them and they actually take up quite a bit of electricity. So if I connect that, we were 242, now we're at 248. So that is pretty much 7k per hour times that by 4, 28. So you are using a lot of electricity where you don't need to because all of those features can be accessed here where you can manage your APC heroes, troops, switch them around. So there's really no need to have them connected at all. The parts factory can stay connected. It doesn't use any electricity. Same goes for the energy core plants and the chip plants. So you can keep those connected and uh, filled or even when they are empty, no worries at all. Uh, for other buildings, you can keep connected your anti-missile defense center, your blast missile factory, and the silo, we even have the doomsday laboratory and the clone lab. You can disconnect them if you want, um, but you know, since they don't really make a big difference, I just keep them connected for completeness, but you can access the Doomsday Inn, of course, the Conquest event section. The Garrison Hall also doesn't take any electricity, so you can keep that connected. However, when it comes to buildings for the Embassy, Architecture, Military Intel, and the Management Station, those ones can stay disconnected. The Embassy is always working in the background, so we can tap here and we can help out other alliances for their upgrades and it doesn't need to be connected for its features. Same goes for the School of Architecture. You rarely access that unless you're changing decoration, but you can do that here. The only time you need to go into the School of Design is if you are unlocking or using your blueprints to uh, unlock some design landscape. And uh, the Hero Station, you can simply do that in the Hero section. Go to the Station tab and we can uh, station unstation and manage all of the ones there so again no need moving over to the right we have more of our combat strategy building so we have the combat readiness room and the war rooms they all do not consume any electricity so you are free to keep them connected they are still working even if they aren't connected to roads but like I say there's no benefits to disconnecting them so keep it connected and then further on the right side, one, we have the VIP shop. Um, it doesn't consume any electricity, so you can keep that connected. But on the right side, one of the high consumers are the uh, vehicle, shooter, and fighter camps. Uh, now, of course, when you have things upgrading, they're always connected to the road, so your consumption is going to be higher than normal. But when they aren't being used, uh, you can just have them away, and they use up a lot. So again, if we are at 242, Connecting the fighter camp, we are now at 255, so that is 13k uh, per hour. And if I want to create my troops, I can have them started and they will still work offline. So you have those savings and the troops are training in the background. Win, win. Now we have the commercial helicopter pad. This does consume electricity, so I only connect it when my helicopter arrives to exchange the latest drops. You can see we are now at 248, so that is 6k per hour it is consuming. And when I'm not in use, back to normal. So having it easy to connect and disconnect for things that you need to access, their options, their uh, operations, then uh, that makes it easier for you give you a look around we also have the radar i don't have that connected haven't at all um we also have the tower now the tower is a choice like i mean for damage they hardly do anything so it's not worth it but if you do have it connected um that actually shows you when someone is exploring either inside your base or nearby there'll be uh, a notification to come up you won't see it other than this tower so if you want the chance to steal from nearby apcs exploring in your area then you can do that but uh, since it doesn't happen all too often i kind of just remove it but the choice is yours on that one if there is anything else of course you want the wind turbine connected at all times and we have the construction vehicle garages i've got five of them and you do not need them connected at all so you can just keep them separated for resources pretty much want to keep them all connected both the production and the storages houses your banks for sure when it comes to the hospitals and the training bunks 
you don't need them connected they fully operate in the background however for the hospital having one that you can easily connect or disconnect to access the uh, healing area for troops if it's you know during ke or after you've done tiling in doomsday or eden uh, then uh, you can have one connected use is very minimal you just don't want all of them connected um, the highest consumers for electricity are the uh, camps for vehicles fighters and shooters just have them connected either when you are upgrading or wanting to action training their troops but once you are done make sure that you put them away so they aren't also consuming electricity and they will continue to train and then the same for the helicopter commercial hub just uh, connect it when your helicopter drop comes in and then disconnect it when you are done for the strategy buildings combat war rooms again they don't need to be and for all of the other plants they also don't need to for the uh, parts core and chips and uh, yeah that is pretty much it finally just my garrison I just have that always connected. It's the only way that you can access the garrison setup. So you want to make sure that you can do that when it comes to topping up your defense or just switching APCs that you want in defense to uh, defend you from an enemy siege. I nearly forgot the final ones we have are the heroes hall and the military academy. Uh, you can see I have them both disconnected. They do consume some electricity um, and I have them disconnected, but when I need to exchange uh, those hero medals for wisdom medals, um, then I can go into the military academy, get that connected, exchange inside here, and then once I'm done, I'm going to move it away. The only other time I wanna access the hero academy is the token shop. You can access the recruiting heroes from the hero button in the bottom right, and uh, this is the token shop at the moment. So that's the only place where you can purchase fragments using your tokens. But when it comes to the fragment section itself, that is also in the hero tab like so. Okay, so that is it. Thanks a lot for joining me. I tried to keep it as clear and concise and just to the point of buildings that you can have disconnected and connected to save and grow your electricity surplus, keep oil maintenance to a minimal, and also have an additional currency in the commercial hub where you can exchange electricity for those precious resources. So hope you found it useful. Again, you can find a full written piece, including a table where I've kind of outlined all the different sections for each buildings, which ones consume and the levels. So make sure you check out my article at onetechtraveler.com. Like always, you can find growing playlist around the last shelter universe on my youtube channel so make sure you subscribe to join the team kba community and check out the last shelter playlist so thanks a lot world i'll see you in the next video but until then keep being awesome peace